Hi everyone, my name is Sharon. So God is saying that make them say something about you. They have to say something about you. You need to do something that is going to make them say something about you. That is why here when you read in the book of First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10, we all know the prayer of Jabez. But here when the Bible starts in the first verse, it talks about the descendants of Judah. The descendants of Judah, then the, the Bible will be mentioning that this person had wives and the children were this, like they were mentioning that only. They were mentioning the names. For instance, verse 7, it would say, Hela gave birth to Zareth, Isa, Ethan, and Koz, who became the ancestor to Anab, Zobe, Zob, Zobeba, and all the families of Aharel, son of Haram. And then verse 9, it says, There was a man named Jabez. Who was more honorable than any of his brothers his mother named him jabez because his his birth had been so painful he was the one who prayed to the god of israel oh that you would bless me and expand my territory please be with me in all that i do and keep me from all trouble and pain and god granted him his request and then verse 11 just continues to say caleb was the father of Mehir and just continue. So you can see that there was something special about what Jabez did in his lifetime. That is why when it came to his name, his name was not just mentioned and then they just continued. They had to describe who he was, what he did. Hallelujah. So God is also saying in your life, you must change things you must influence things so that people can talk about you so that you are not just a number it means that these people who were here who were being mentioned they were just living ordinary lives they did not do anything out of the ordinary the plate that they were given they just accepted it if they were given poverty in their lives they just accepted it if they were given if they were given sickness in their life, they just accepted it. Pain, they were inflicted with pain. They just accepted it. But here from verse 9, the Bible talks about a man who did something about it. He did not accept his misfortune. He went before God and asked God to change things for him and asked God to bless him. He did not want to continue being the same man that he was. He did not want to continue living a life of pain just because his mother gave birth to him in pain. It did not also mean that he had to pass on in pain. He decided to change the course of his life. So God is also saying that there's many of you, you've been given a plate which you are not happy with. You were just given, to, it was just given to you in your birth. It was just given to you during the course of your life. You did not choose that kind of life. You did not choose to be suffering that way in your life. Life. It was just handed over to you. But God is saying that you still have the power to be making the necessary changes. You can go to God and ask him to change things around for you. You can still go to God and say this prayer before him that you would bless me and expand my territory. Please be with me in all that I do and keep me from all trouble and pain. And you can see where we have read, the Bible is saying that, and God granted him his request. So God is saying in your life today, don't continue living that kind of life that you are not happy with. Don't continue living under that limitation, living under that curse. You can still come out of it. You can still change things. You can still change your history. You can still change what people are going to say about you when you are gone in the mighty name of Jesus. Your story is not over. You can still rewrite your story in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.